Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and, and I, I have an idea. Let's, let's compare exotic filaments by printing dinosaurs. <laughs> let's do it. Are you ready? Go. Ah, welcome back. Hey, before we get started, don't forget you can always subscribe to my channel and there should be a subscribe button right here. Through the analytics, I found out that more than half of my audience is not subscribed to my YouTube channel. So here's your chance. Here's this button. Click this button right here and you can subscribe to my channel. All right, good, we got that out of the way. Look, one of the questions I get asked a lot because I print with them a lot is how do the exotic filaments differ from regular PLA? as an example. So PLA, PLA plastic is what I print with mostly, but I also, I love, I love protopasta's exotic filaments, like the stainless steel, the carbon fiber, the magnetic iron. Protopasta does a fantastic job with their exotic filaments. In fact, I just got some ColorFab exotics, some ColorFab bronze and some ColorFab um, uh, copper. It's just, it's, it's so cool. This stuff is, this stuff is fantastic, but not a lot of people print with these because normally you need a plated nozzle and to, to keep your nozzle safe or else the, the, like the carbon will just rip through brass. It's, it's amazing. So I figured what better way than to show off some of these exotic materials and compare them against each other than printing some dinosaurs. More specifically, we're printing this guy. <laughs> Look at this little guy. This is the Robber Rex and he's a He's a little model I found on Thingiverse, and I'm gonna put the model link down in the description because he, he's just wonderful. Look at this, look at this little guy. He prints, he prints like this on your build plate, and then you pry him up, and then you go drop him right, right there. So this little guy here, this little Robber Rex, is printed in Matter Hackers Pro PLA, and it, it looks fantastic. It's a tiny, tiny little model, but but it's really cool. I, I love this little guy. I love him. That's kind of small though. So what I did is I, I sized it up about 300% and then I printed it in yellow. So here is the Robber Rex in Boots Industries yellow PLA. And this was printed on my Dremel 3D Idea Builder. And it, it, it looks great. And it's going to stand in as my typical PLA dinosaur because everybody should have a typical PLA dinosaur. Next up, we've got Robber Rex in Protopasta Stainless Steel. This is pretty cool. He's, he, he's solid. Well, not solid plastic. He's got about 10% infill, but he just, he feels like metal. It feels, it feels really interesting. And here's, so it prints like, like this. Let's see if you can see it's a little bit rough. And then on this side, I've actually sanded it down and it's smooth, it feels, it feels like a metal. It's really strange, but it feels metallic. Next up is our carbon fiber rubber Rex, and this is printed with Protopasta's carbon fiber PLA. And it looks, well, it looks, it looks cool. He's just dark and ominous, rawr, and, and he, he stands well. There we go. The carbon fiber feels a lot lighter than other things, and it, it, it actually feels lighter than the typical PLA. More on that later. Uh, the, the print turned out well. This was printed on my Flash Forge Creator Pro. I didn't have the settings perfect, and so there's a little bit of bubbling here, but, but the feel is, it, it feels weird. It's, it's light, it feels light, it feels strong, it feels tough. It doesn't, it doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel heavy. Last but certainly not least is the Robber Rex printed using ColorFab's Bronze Fill PLA. It's got little, little nublets here, little nublets on his chin. It's like he was eating his broccoli and peas and there we go. Some of it didn't come off when he wiped his chin with his dinosaur napkin. This feels heavy and it's, it feels considerably heavier than, than all of the rest. It feels, it doesn't feel like plastic. I, I know it is mostly plastic, but it doesn't, the, the weight combined with the touch and the feel, it just, it doesn't, it feels metallic. And it's, it's crazy with the added weight in there. And it feels heavier than all the rest of them. Well, rather than just tell you it feels heavier, well, let's weigh them. Well, here we are, look, I've got my iPhone set up next to a food scale, right next to the Red Bull that isn't open because I'm gonna drink it when we're all done. 
Here is the tiny little blue Robber Rex, printed with the Matter Hackers blue. Let's put him on the scale. The scale is set in grams, and this little Robber Rex weighs six, oh, I'm sorry, five. Five grams. That's not too bad. You need to eat your Cheerios, Robber Rex. Roar. I've got this notepad right here that I'm going to keep track of the official weighing. So PLA is up first. Here's the big yellow Robber Rex that's, that's Boots Industries yellow and, and terrifying. Robber Rex in PLA, I'm going to go with 88, 89, 89 grams. 89 grams. There we go. Thank you, Yellow Robber Rex. Roar. Next on the list is carbon fiber. This is Protopasta's carbon fiber. And this is the terrifying Robber Rex. We'll go ahead and place that Robber Rex at 82. Wow. The carbon fiber is 82 grams. That's kind of interesting. Next up is the stainless steel, the Protopasta stainless steel. And next up is this terrifying dinosaur. Tell you what, he's gonna do a handstand, footstand thing. Handstand, footstand. There we go. That Robber Rex, the Proto Pasta Stainless Steel Robber Rex, is 134 grams. Wow. 34 grams. Okay. Last but not least. The terrifying bronze fill from Colorfab. Roar. Can we put him right here? Ooh, what's your guess? What's your guess? What's your guess? I'm going to guess a lot. 264, 66, 266 grams. Wow. Wow, that's... I had no idea. Roar. Well, what did you think of those results? That was kind of interesting. I had, I had no idea that the bronze fill was going to be twice as heavy as some of that stuff. Here, let's, let's dig into the numbers for just a sec, but let me, let me drink me some Red Bull. As you notice, I'm using one of my Red Bull koozies, and this is my bender, Red Bull koozie. And this bender is printed in Protopasta's stainless steel. It holds a Red Bull well. Let's see how it tastes coming out of Bender's stainless steel head. Yep, still tastes like it's working. All right, so as the numbers go, this is the Boots Industries Yellow PLA Robber Rex, and it, it weighed 89 grams. 89 grams, that's not, that's not too bad. It feels like plastic, and it weighs like plastic. And here's the Protopasta Carbon Fiber Robber Rex, and it weighed 82 grams. And it, it feels lighter, and it, it, it feels slightly different than plastic. You can tell that it's plastic, but it just it feels slightly different, and it weighs less. And of course, we can't forget the stainless steel Robber Rex, who weighed 134 grams. And like I said before, this side that I sanded is smooth, and this side that I didn't sand is not smooth, but I could sand this side, and it could shine up, and I could polish it, and it would be, it'd be really cool. It'd be a very, very cool Robber Rex. I'll, all shiny and metallic. And I can, here's what's interesting. The Protopasta Stainless Steel PLA, when it lays down, all of their exotics lay down like butter. I swear, it's like butter. And this this is no no different than the butter. When it lays down though, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like a metal. It has a little bit of that weight, but it doesn't feel like a metal. But like on this side where you sand it and you smooth it down and I, you swear to yourself, you know it's plastic, but it, it, it feels like metal. Last but certainly not least is our bronze fill from Colorfab Robber Rex, who weighed an astonishing 266 grams as far as the scale is concerned. In fact, the next heaviest, the stainless steel Robber Rex, weighed half of that. It was 50% of this guy's weight with the PLA from Boots and the carbon fiber from Protopasta Robber Rex is coming in at around 30% of the weight of this guy. I wish you could feel this. This is, it, it feels a little metallic. It feels, it, it's that weight. It's the added weight of the bronze fill that gives it that metallic feel. And like, and like the stainless steel, your mind tells you this is plastic because you printed it yourself. But it just, it, 
man, if, if you were to hand this someone and, and have them close their eyes and feel this or the stainless steel, they would tell you they were holding a metal object. And that's, that's just astonishing. That's so cool. Well, after all that, you can tell that I've got an army of little dinosaurs here that, that just love me. Mm -hmm. Ow, they're eating my face! Ow! <laughs> oh man, okay, seriously. This was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed printing this model and I think you will as well. The link to the Thingiverse file is going to be down in the description. All of these filaments printed phenomenally well and I'm, I'm really happy with the results. I hope that, I hope this was informative. I hope, I hope that it kind of sheds some light on some of the exotic materials that are available for, for 3D printing and I, I, I hope it, it kind of gave you an idea of what to expect if you if you ever get some of these. I highly suggest you do get a plated nozzle for your 3D printer and start sending all of this awesome, exotic, wonderful filament through it. You're just, you're gonna love it. And, and you're going to be as astonished as I am when you feel some of these metallic filaments, or you're going to be amazed at how much lighter the carbon fiber PLA feels than standard PLA. This is, this is fun research. This is, this is dinosaur science. I'm like a plastic paleontologist. All right, well that was, that was one of my more fun videos and I know I, it was full of some data and I tried to be scientific about things with the scale, but I mean, we were, we were printing dinosaurs and exotic filaments and I got to tell you about them. And I know, I know not everyone gets to print with these materials. So I, I really hope it gave you into a, gave you a window into what they feel like and what they print like and, and, and how they look. Give this video a big thumbs up if you if you enjoyed it. If you like dinosaurs or exotic filaments or if you like to say rawr to your friends. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions about any of the materials that I went over. I'm more than happy to answer those. Or hit me up socially if you have any questions and I'll, I'll try to get back to you. Share this video with your friends, man. Friends love dinosaurs. At least my friends love dinosaurs. I can't say it enough. Please subscribe to my channel. It lets you get notified when I upload new content. And plus at that point, you're eligible for any of the contests that I run on this channel. And I've got some pretty important contests coming up. Last but certainly not least, I need to thank my patrons who support me at patreon.com and the link is right up there. You don't have to give me any money and I'm going to continue to do this for free as long as I can, but any financial support to this channel is put to good use. And if you have a dollar a month or so and you want to throw it my way, just click that link right up there. Again, I say I don't require it. All I do require is some social high fives. Don't forget, I still got plenty of stickers. Send me that fan mail and I'll get some stickers back to you. That was fun. Let's do this again. Hey, thanks for watching. As always, high five.